There was a day when to be a pastor was not to be something necessarily distinct from being a theologian. If we look back through church history, particularly I think uh, in the earlier days of the church, uh, many, many, many of the earliest theologians were clergy. And so we can think here of Irenaeus, we can think of Cyprian, we can think of the Cappadocian Fathers, um, the list goes on and on, all the way up into, particularly in the Protestant tradition, uh, a Luther, a Calvin, a Wesley, and Edwards. And so, so, so the pastoral vocation was once considered a viable vocation for theologians and scholars. But uh, we fast forward to the present day, the pastoral vocation is no longer considered the primary place that a scholar would go to make a living that has now transitioned entirely to the academy. And that divorce of pastoral ministry and theological scholarship, uh, we believe has impoverished both the church, which because theologians have moved out of pastoral ministry largely uh, into the church, has left the church theologically anemic, but it also has left theology ecclesially anemic because theologians no longer uh, primarily as a matter of vocation, construct their theology and their scholarship in the social location that theology is meant to serve. I think the unique thing about the pastor theologian is um, the, uh, the reimagining of the role of the pastor theologian. And here what we have in mind is a pastor theologian who is engaging in theological scholarship that is written towards other theologians and pastors. And so it's the sort of writing that isn't directed primarily to congregants, but it does have uh, in the backdrop that motivates the scholarship, uh, the needs of the congregation. And so we're looking uh, through, through our book to promote in particular this third kind of pastor theologian, the pastor theologian as ecclesial theologian. Generally, the book would be for anyone who cares about the intersection of theology and pastoral ministry. We would have in mind here the ecclesially sensitive academic theologian who sees their academic theology as in service to the church and wants to figure out how to take the best of academic theology and bring that to bear in the life of the church. We also uh, have in mind um, uh, pastors who can re-envision their own sense of vocation along more distinctly theological lines. And, uh, and then maybe primarily or uh, uniquely, we have in mind the emerging generation of theologians and scholars. Right now, there is a very clear sense at times for someone who perhaps feels called to a life of scholarship and maybe pursuing a PhD, uh, but they also feel called uh, to church ministry, that they feel that the road forks in a way that does not allow them to hold these two callings together in a single, uh, a single calling. And we want to say to a person in that position, actually, not only is it possible to bring these two together in a very fruitful way, but uh, the church and theology need these to be brought together. And we want to, to help the emerging generation of theologians and scholars to, to reimagine the possibility of bringing their intellectual gifting and their theological scholarship back into the context of the local church.